This tutorial covers the pairing number departing on feature. This feature is a simple way to add specific pairings to your bid and is a great feature to use as you become more confident on web app. We will go over how to import them from the pairings tab as well as manually enter them. Additionally, we will show how to edit the line to ensure your pairings are written how you would like them awarded. This is a useful feature when you would like to bid for a specific pairing on a specific date, if you want them in a certain order, and if there are any position preferences you may have. It is not recommended to bid with only pairing numbers in your bid. With all bidding, it is recommended to bid for what you could expect to hold at your seniority. The more senior you are, the better chances you have at being awarded a specific pairing number that you're bidding for. To see what your seniority can hold, you can look at the PPS awards for your base by going to the in-flight webpage, schedule and bidding, line bidding, and PPS awards. You can always manually add from the Bids tab and use the features similar to how you would on the old class bid site. You would add a line, select Award Pairings, select Pairing Number Departing On, type the pairing in, the calendar shows you what date the pairing operates on. Select the date or dates that you want to add and hit Add. Repeat if there are multiple pairings that you want on the same line. When you're finished, select Apply and Close. If you would like to add a pairing from the Pairings tab, you would first select the line that you would like the line to be imported under. Toggle to the Pairings tab. If you'd like to sort through the pairings, select which preferences you have for your pairings. If the filter doesn't show due to the size of your screen, open the filter to the pairing preferences with the filter icon. After you select the preferences you want, press Apply. In order to import, you must first select the red plus with a circle. This is the Enable Add Bids mode. Select the pairing or pairings that you want to import and select the date. In order to use pairing number departing on, you must select a date. You cannot mix and match some pairings with the date selected and some pairings without a date selected on the same bid line. Once you've chosen the pairings and their dates, click the red check mark to add these pairings to your bid. A pop-up will tell you that it was successful. Then toggle back to your bids tab. You can see your specific pairings and their depart on dates are imported. If you would like the program to read your specific pairings on the same line in a specific order, you'll need to do an additional step. Select the line you just imported, click Edit. We already know this is an award pairings line, so that's clicked. Go into the bid preference editor. As you scroll down, you'll see that pairing number depart on is selected. If both pairing number departing on and pairing number are selected, you imported some pairings without a date on the same line, and the entire line will not be read. Click Pairing Number Departing On. On the top, it'll say Ordered, Yes or No. If you would like these pairings to be read in order from left to right, click Yes. If you need to rearrange the order of these pairings, scroll further down the screen and rearrange them by selecting the pairing and moving it up and down with these arrows. If you would like to add position preferences, we have one more step. You'll go back to Award Pairings, scroll down to Position, select it. Now you can select which position preferences you have for these pairings. In my case, I'll select D, B, A, and C. Position preferences are read in order from left to right. If pairings are instructed to be in a certain order by selecting Ordered and Yes from the previous step, the pairings will be read in order preference first. For example, if I have a three-person pairing before my D pairing, but D position is my first preference, 
the three-person pairing in my preference order will be read before the deposition on the following pairing. Once you're finished with this line, click Apply and Close. Your line is now written in specific pairing order with position preference. If you forget what pairings you asked for, simply use the analyzer to remind you what you requested. As a reminder, the analyzer has certain limitations. These limitations are published in our PBS help files found on the info page. If you choose not to edit the line after the pairings have been imported, and you use Analyze to check your work and it shows no pairings, you may have selected some pairings without a date. Open the editor to ensure that there is not a check mark next to pairing number departing on and pairing number. If you see a check mark next to pairing number and pairing number departing on, none of the pairings on this line will be read. When importing pairings from the Bids tab, the program will automatically give you a pop-up to warn you before you import the pairings that you did not select dates for all of the pairings. If you see this pop-up, you can correct this before importing pairings to your bid. As always, after you've selected specific pairings, you should always have some additional award lines as a backup plan, should you not be able to hold those specific pairings during the award process. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to pbs.qa at alaskaair.com.